Hi friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today for a quick like random haul <laughs> of small shops and these stashes that I'm just going to share with you guys. So um, basically I wanted to share with you guys I got a big fun package of pens um, from Enablers Outpost that I was going to have during the Princess Salon but you guys know um, with Elizabeth she did end up having COVID and on the retreat so I'm just getting them now but I'm excited to look and see them um, I also had my first purchase from butterfly um, effect wares that I'm excited to check this pen out I finally managed to snag one I've got D stash of some cover minders from Catherine Brown she has some clay minders and um, I just have to blame Catherine and Jacqueline for being a little bit of bad influence on me and <laughs> totally getting me into clay cover minders. Um, and then I also have half a package from Butterfly Resin Gems. Um, I had actually done a partial unboxing of this and then for whatever reason um, the filming and stuff got, um, got cut and then I lost the first part of it and I just, anyway, I... I have half a package. <laughs> Lame, right? I've got Belle Arch and Nicole. Well, I'm just going to start getting into these, right? Okay, so um, let's go ahead and go with these princess pens, which I'm excited. I've, of course, covered my address um, so that you can, you know, not see my address, I guess. That makes sense, right? So, okay. <laughs> I love that they have their little stamp on their enablers outpost. So cute. Um, let's open this up. I guess it's taped on this side. Packaged so well. And oh, how cute is that? Handmade with love. So I like how they put these cute papers in here and it's wrapped up. Let's see what goodies we get. Oh my goodness, are they making cover minders? <laughs> Look at that, how cute is that? Oh my goodness. That is so fun. Let me pull this out of the package and we're gonna take a better look at it. So it looks like they had these cover minders made. How fun, I love that. <laughs> um, and then of course you have your usual um, enablers outpost resin gift that she gives you with little, ooh look, there's lots of tips in here. Um, and there's, oops, not full. So we have got some stickers. Oops, I'm not even showing you guys the right angle there. Some Mamba candy. And then we've got a whole bunch of four placers. It looks like we've got five of them in here. So those are some of our goodies. Now let's get into, Ooh, I love that she used an emerald green paper, you guys. I love that. <laughs> if anybody can tell from my name or anything, if you're new to my channel, I just love the color emerald green. And thank you, Elizabeth, this is beautiful wrapping tissue paper. I love it. I love the green. Such a good color. So, ooh, okay. So this is the very first pen. It's a hot pink pen. Look at that. That glitter. And I had her turn it in just the way that I like to have my pens turned. <laughs> I specifically requested that shape. Okay, so this one is a blue princess pen. See those glitters? So shimmery. It has like a blue green effect on it. And then we have got a white pen or a clear crystal one. That's sparkly. Ooh. <laughs> Aren't they so pretty? My goodness. And then a green one. Look at that fun one. I believe this one is glow in the dark, which is fun. I mean, I guess you wouldn't be diamond painting in the dark because that would be kind of hard, but <laughs> still cool. And then the very last one is this lighter. This is like a Barbie pink. I love it. Look at that. <laughs> How fun. 
So, you guys, these are my princess pens that I've gotten from Enablers Outpost. Um, I just am so excited to use these. I love, I love shimmer, I love sparkle. And so these are gonna be so fun. Okay, I am going to just set these aside though because I am using a smaller desk to film on. And so I will show you guys my whole haul once I get this. Okay, moving on, we are going to look at this package from Butterfly Resin Gems, which is actually a sponsor for the JBG along too. Um, so inside this package, I have to share with you guys that I did already unwrap this one. Isn't that so cute? It's Hermione. Um, oh my goodness, in this round. So these are resin poured. There is a stopper for this one. It's not the tightest fitting, but there is a stopper there. And I think it works if you like shake it. Um, but isn't that so cute to work? And then I really like in her um, box, she has, you know, her information right here on Butterfly Resin Gems, just about um, how to work with the items. There is a little thank you cover minder here. How cute is that? It has... A nice little magnet right there so she likes to pour she puts gold flakes she puts flowers this was also a gift in this one this resin poured flower isn't that pretty so along with um, the tray that I showed in my last weapon chat that was for my painting which was releasing fireflies by JBG I had also actually planned to do have get to these two other paintings um, However, it was a complete disaster and I never ended up receiving those paintings and they ended up getting just refunded after long struggle. But um, I still am looking for possibly purchasing these from a different company now. Maybe I was thinking of maybe getting a custom from Dreamer Designs, but we've got Bootstrap Betsy. Isn't she so cute? I love, I love the flowers in here. Like you've, the red and the purple is so perfect. So like I said, these are resin poured. So like this stuff is in, in the resin. How neat is that? <laughs> How cool. Um, so we have got Bootstrap Betsy. And then the other one is... I love this one too. Sin oh, Sonora. Is it Sonora, the Egyptian princess? I love this one. I love her face. <laughs> She's just got like a total attitude mood there. And so this one I definitely am thinking. I actually have these two in my cart in Dreamer Designs for customs because my, my other ones didn't work out. So, um, and she had given me some stickers so that was my um, half unboxing <laughs> there was the other other one that was the releasing fireflies but just fun trays um, I believe her shop is going to be opening up again um, she did have a surgery in June I believe and so she's um, will be reopening soon but these are from butterfly resin gems Moving on is Butterfly Effect Wares. Now they have a shop on Etsy and they sell out incredibly fast. Um, we have got, <laughs> um, I've, I've tried for a couple times and I've been unsuccessful, um, but I finally was able to snag one. So inside you get, I guess, your receipt. I'll just show you. They have a cute little sticker in there. And then let's look at this pen. Oh, I guess they have stickers in here. Um, so we get a butterfly sticker for butterfly effect wares, right? And a business card. I like when business cards come just, you know, so you can always show that that's the company and they have a little Werther's in there, which I like. I love those. So let's see. Ooh, look at that one. So I can't even remember which one this was, but it was like an orange and purple drop and I just thought it was really pretty. I think it was like a sunset. Look at the sparkles in that. Ooh. 
and how shiny it is. Um, I think I did request no tips, or I don't know if they send that, but I have been lately just requesting no tips with any pens that I buy. But oh my goodness, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> oh wow, just beautiful. So that is my purchase from Butterfly Effect Wears. We'll see if I <laughs> can be quick enough to get another one. And then moving on, we have got some Bella Art and Nicole trays that I purchased off of their drop this week. And so it comes in this box. We've got their business card and a butterfly. It's a butterfly. <laughs> We've got Bella Art and Nicole who loves butterflies. We've got butterfly effect wears with butterflies and then butterfly resin gems. I'm also unboxing. So it's a butterfly <laughs> haul, right? Um, so let's open this up. Butterflies are pretty. And this one, if you can't tell from what's inside the wrap, it's purple and pink, which I thought was really fun. Um, I think one of these is a silk color. And I thought it'd be fun to share these with you because they have recently changed the design on their trays. Um, not structurally or anything, but if you remember, they usually have a large butterfly on the top of their tray and they've now moved it to a little square at the top. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, which is neat. But this one I believe is silk lavender. I love these silk trays, you guys. They're my absolute, absolute favorites. Of course, what I think is really fun about these trays is, um, of course you have this stopper right here, but this spout actually goes up so even if you are shaking your drills and you don't have the spot the the stopper in it actually like the drills pretty much stay in um, i really like the bella trays with my round drills <laughs> um that's just yeah my go-to um and then i have this sparkle pink one so those are the two Bell Art and Nicole trays that I got. Okay, moving on to these cover minders from Catherine. She was doing a big D stash. She's, she's really um, knows a lot about these clay cover minders and stuff like that. And I've just been curious to kind of see more of them. And there was a few in her D stash that I couldn't help myself. Um, but so she sent it in here. Like I said, these this was a D stash, so it's not like a small company. But it looks like she sent. Ooh, okay, this is a donut, I think. This is a little gift that she sent um, with it. Is it a donut or like a, like a, a bunt cake? <laughs> Am I getting close to opening this? How fun is that? Looks like a resin one and the magnet right there. Cover minder. So that is the gift. Um, this one right here. Oh, she's so cute. Look at it. It's Dorothy. <laughs> Isn't she darling? Oh my goodness. Um, this will be perfect for Oz in Og. If you've heard of this event, Shay is actually crafting with Shay, my friend, who's also hosting the JVG along with me. She is taking over this year for... Um, she, she's taking over the, the Oz and Og event for the original host. I think. And so um, she has had a video up for that. And um, I would go check that out if you want to participate in August. It's going to be Oz and Og. But how cute is she? <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. Okay, let's move on. I think this one might be a companion. Yes. Oh, she cute. It's the Wicked Witch. Let me. That cover minders, they, you know, wrap so well, but so hard to get out of their packaging. So we have got the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, she's so cute. I love it. Oh, 
I guess they they stuck together. I didn't <laughs> do that well. So I'll put these on the side. It looks like next we have, um, let's see if I can find, because there's one more. So I did get also Glinda the Good Witch. Um, I'm usually not like a little, like, I don't know. It's just funny. These little things, like, I feel like I've just suddenly become so addicted to them and I want all the characters. Um, but, I, but I think they're so hard to find sometimes. So moving on, this one is a Sugar Skull Dia de los Muertos. Play figure. I thought it was cute. I love the little roses in the hair and the faces. How fun. And then the very last one I got was another Halloween fall themed witch. And this one is a cute little green haired witch that's riding on a broom. I think, yeah, or no, she has her broom, but she's not riding on it, but she has it with her. I thought this one was so cute. So here we go. <laughs> How fun. I'm starting to get some things together for the Festival of Witches. And so you guys, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So, well, I can tell you guys, I just had such a, a fun haul here. <laughs> I love all of these items and I'm so excited to be able to use those use these in different projects a big thank you to all of the Etsy shops and to Catherine for the D stash um, you guys I cannot wait to go and try these out I hope you enjoyed this little small shop haul and I will see you guys in another video bye